Types of lintels used in construction Wooden or timber lintels These are the oldest type of lintel mostly used in regions with high availability of timber. Timber lintels are either constructed as single piece or combination of two pieces. Timber lintels can be strengthened by providing steel plates at the top and bottom if necessary and this is called as flitched lintels. Timber used for lintel construction must be strong and sound. A simple lintel is a wooden timber lintel that is provided over the full width of the wall by joining three timber pieces using a steel bolt. For wider walls, build-up lintels are used. Here, two wooden pieces is kept at a distance with the help of wooden distant pieces or packing piece. Timber lintels can decay and can be destroyed by fire. Compared with other times, they are weak and costly. They consume timber which causes deforestation. Stone lintel is the most common type of lintel as the stone material is available abundantly. It consists of a simple stone slab of large thickness and provided over the openings in brick walls or stone walls. A dress stone, if used as lintel, enhances the architectural beauty of the surface. Stone lintels are constructed as single piece or more than one piece along the wall width. The stone lintel thickness is generally 10 cm per meter span. It can be used for spans up to 2 meters. For spans with large width, stone slabs are kept at the edges. Stone lintels are weak in tension and cracks under vibration. They are not suitable for areas with high shock waves. Brick lintels Brick lintel possesses less strength and hence use for small openings that is less than 1 meter that is subjected to lower loads. The depth of brick lintel vary from 10 to 20 cm based on the span. They are constructed over temporary wooden centering. Bricks with frogs are used to create joggles so that it improves the look and shear resistance of the end joints. Such lintels are also called as joggle brick lintel. Joggles are the locking grooves cut between bricks for adding lateral strength and better bond. Reinforced brick lintel Reinforced brick lintel are used for large span openings that need to take heavy loads. The depth of reinforced brick lintel is equal to 10 cm or in the multiples of 10. The bricks are placed with a spacing of 2 to 3 cm along the span to incorporate mild steel bars as shown in the figure. These gaps are later filled with a mortar mix of ratio 1 is to 3 and vertical stirrups are provided in every third joint with a stirrup of 6 mm diameter. Main reinforcement is provided at the bottom of the lintel having a diameter of 8 to 10 millimeters and are crammed at the ends as shown in the figure. Steel lintels For openings with large span and high superimposed loads, steel lintels are used. It makes use of raw steel joists or channel section in combination or as a single for the lintel construction. A single steel section is embedded in concrete during lintel construction or it is cladded with a stone facing so that it matches with the wall width. When two or more steel sections are used, they are kept in position using a tube separator as shown. Reinforced Concrete Lintels or RCC Lintels Due to the strength, rigidity, fire resistance, economy and ease of construction RCC Lintels offer, all other lintel construction have got a second place in lintel construction. RCC Lintels can be employed for any span and width equals to the width of the wall. It can be constructed either as cast in situ or precast. An RCC lintel is designed based on the span and magnitude of loading, similar to the design of an RCC beam. Main reinforcement bars are provided at the bottom to resist bending and resist tensile force. Ends are cramped and shear stirrups are provided to resist travel shear. If you like this video, let us know by liking the video, sharing and subscribing to our channel, Ensuring Fanatics.